God says, my dear child, before this month ends, you are about to receive $10,000,000 out of nowhere, and it will be a gift for you from your heavenly father. Watch this video till end to claim it. In a world that often measures worth by material wealth, remember that my blessings come in many forms. This gift, a significant sum, is not just a testament to my ability to provide but also a symbol of my endless love for you. As you ponder this unexpected provision, know that it comes with a purpose. This wealth is not merely for personal comfort or luxury, it is entrusted to you for greater works. With this gift, you have the power to make a difference, to change lives, and to further the good in the world. Reflect on the journey that has led you to this moment. The times of need, the moments of prayer, and the days of doubt. If you want to join our spiritual family today to unlock a path to inner peace and enlightenment, then make sure to click on join button and participate in our transformation journey. Each step has been guided by my hand, preparing you for the responsibility that comes with such a blessing. Consider the wisdom required to steward this gift well. It will demand prudence, generosity, and a heart aligned with my will. Seek my guidance in every decision, knowing that I am the source of all wisdom and understanding. Imagine the joy of sharing this blessing. The opportunities to give are endless, supporting causes close to your heart, lifting others out of poverty, and spreading kindness and generosity. In giving, you reflect my nature, for I am a generous father. Envision the impact this gift can have on your family and future generations. Handled wisely, it can provide security, education, and opportunities to serve and glorify me. It's a tool to build a legacy of faith, generosity, and gratitude. Acknowledge the responsibility that accompanies such wealth. It can open doors but also bring challenges. Stay grounded in your faith, keeping your eyes on me, the giver, rather than the gift. Let your identity remain in me, not in the material wealth you possess. Remember those who are still in need. As you have been blessed abundantly, look for ways to be a blessing to others. Let your life be a channel of my love and provision, a living testimony to my goodness and care. Consider the joy that comes from true wealth, not the financial blessing itself, but the wealth of being in relationship with me. This earthly gift pales in comparison to the eternal treasures I have stored up for you. Prepare your heart for this blessing. Cultivate a spirit of gratitude, humility, and reliance on me. Let this gift draw you closer to me, not away. In every blessing, I desire your heart more than anything else. Reflect on the purpose I have for you. This financial provision is a tool, a means to an end, not the end itself. Seek my direction for how it can be used to fulfill the calling I have placed on your life. Rejoice in my provision, but find your contentment in me. True happiness and satisfaction are found not in the abundance of possessions, but in the richness of relationship with me. Pray for protection and guidance. With great blessing comes great challenge. Pray for the wisdom to navigate this new season, for the discernment to make godly choices, and for the strength to withstand the temptations that may come. Share the story of this blessing with others. Let it be a testament to my faithfulness and generosity. Your testimony can inspire faith and hope in those who hear it, pointing them to me, the source of all good things. Finally, my dear child, as you receive this gift, remember that I am the greatest treasure. I am your provider, your protector, and your loving father. This financial blessing is just one expression of my love for you. In this unexpected gift, see my hand at work in your life. Let it be a reminder that with me, all things are possible. 
My plans for you are to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. As you move forward with this blessing, let your heart remain steadfast in me. Use this gift wisely, generously, and in alignment with my will. In doing so, you will experience the true joy and fulfillment that come from being a steward of my abundance. Type 1414 if you trust God. So, my child, as this year draws to a close, prepare for the extraordinary. The gift you will receive is just a glimpse of my goodness and provision. Trust in me, lean on my wisdom, and let your life be a reflection of my love and generosity to the world. God says, my dear child, remember, dear child, I'm the one who made everything in the world, the sky, the oceans, the mountains, the sun, and the stars. In the beginning, with a word, I laid the foundations of the earth, painting the sky with shades of dawn and dusk, crafting the oceans with depths unfathomable, and raising the mountains as monuments to my creativity and power. Each sunrise and sunset, a masterpiece of light and color, whispers my name, declaring my glory across the expanse of time. The oceans, vast and mighty, teem with life, a testament to my love for diversity and beauty. Every wave that crashes upon the shore, every drop of water that makes up the sea, speaks of my precision and care in sustaining all forms of life. The mountains, with their towering peaks and verdant slopes, stand as sentinels of my strength and steadfastness. They invite you to look up, to lift your eyes from the troubles of the moment and find comfort in the permanence and majesty of my creation. The sun, a blazing sphere of light and warmth, governs the day, a symbol of my unending faithfulness. Its rise and set punctuate your days, marking time, bringing both growth and rest, reminding you of my provision and the order I've established in the universe. The stars, scattered across the night sky like diamonds on velvet, tell stories of old, guiding travelers and inspiring dreamers. Each one is known by name, a demonstration of my infinite knowledge and attention to detail. Remember, my dear child, that the same hands that flung stars into space and carved valleys into the earth molded you. You are my masterpiece, created in my image, imbued with a spirit and a purpose. Just as I care for the lilies of the field and the birds of the air, so too do I care for you, with even greater affection and attention. In moments of doubt or fear, when you feel small and insignificant, look to the wonders of the world I have made. Let them remind you of my power and my presence. There is no problem too complex, no situation too dire, that is beyond my reach or my ability to mend. As you walk through life, take time to marvel at the beauty that surrounds you, for it is a gift, a reflection of my glory and love for you. Let the crashing waves, the sturdy mountains, the warm sun, and the twinkling stars fill you with hope and peace, knowing that the God who created all these things is with you, guiding you, loving you. You are part of a grand design, woven into the fabric of creation, connected to all that I have made. Your life has meaning and purpose, intricately linked to the story of the universe, a story of love, redemption, and eternal hope. So, dear child, when you gaze upon the sky, the oceans, the mountains, the sun, and the stars, remember who made them. Remember who made you. And remember that my love for you is as vast as the ocean, as steadfast as the mountains, as warm as the sun, and as countless as the stars. In every challenge, remember my strength. In every sorrow, remember my comfort. In every joy, remember my delight in you. My creation is a testament to my power and my care, and you, my dear child, are the crowning jewel of all I have made. Trust in me, for I am your creator, your father, and your friend. I have known you since before you were born, 
and I have plans for you that are as magnificent and as boundless as the universe itself. Let the wonder of creation inspire you to dream big, to live fully, and to love deeply. For in doing so, you reflect my image, you fulfill your purpose, and you bring glory to my name. Walk in the assurance of my love, in the confidence of my power, and in the peace of my presence. For I am with you always, from the heights of the mountains to the depths of the sea, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. My dear child, as you journey through life, let the beauty of the world I have made fill you with awe and gratitude. Let it remind you of my sovereignty, my creativity, and my endless love for you. Remember, no detail is too small for my attention, no need too great for my provision. I am the God of all creation, and I hold you in the palm of my hand, cherished, protected, and loved beyond measure. So, look around you, see my handiwork, and know that you are never alone. I am your Creator, your Heavenly Father, and I love you with an everlasting love. In every leaf that rustles in the wind, every bird that sings at dawn, every star that twinkles in the night sky, there is a message of my care and attention to the world I have created. Type 999 if you believe in God power. These are not just elements of nature but expressions of my love, meticulously crafted and sustained by my hand. The cycles of nature, the change of seasons, the ebb and flow of tides, the cycle of life and death, all speak of my wisdom and my plans for renewal and growth. Just as the earth brings forth its bounty in due season, so too do I bring about growth and transformation in your life, in perfect timing. Consider the flowers, how they grow, they neither toil nor spin, yet not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If I so clothe the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, how much more will I clothe you, my beloved child? Let this assurance calm your anxious thoughts and remind you of my provision. The vastness of the universe, with its billions of galaxies, each with millions of stars, is a testament to my infinite power and my majesty. Yet, amidst this immense creation, I know you intimately, care for you deeply, and listen to every whisper of your heart. Your name is engraved on the palms of my hands, you are that precious to me. In moments of solitude, when you stand under the canopy of the night sky and gaze upon the endless expanse of stars, remember that I am the God who names each one and holds them in place. The same power that sustains the universe is at work in your life, guiding you, protecting you, and providing for you. The complexity of the human body, a marvel of design and function, reflects my ingenuity as the Creator. Every cell, every breath, every heartbeat is a miracle of life, sustained by my hand. Let this knowledge fill you with awe and gratitude for the gift of life and the privilege of being created in my image. In the beauty of a sunset, where colors blend in a display of my artistry, find a reminder of my presence and my peace. Just as I paint the sky with the hues of heaven, so I desire to fill your life with the colors of joy, peace, and love, creating a masterpiece out of your journey. The roar of the ocean, with its mighty waves and vast depths, speaks of my strength and my sovereignty. Let it remind you of my ability to calm the storms of life, to speak peace into chaos, and to lead you through troubled waters to a place of rest and safety. As you walk through forests and meadows, let the diversity of life around you remind you of my creativity and the value I place on variety and uniqueness. Just as no two leaves are exactly the same, so you have been created uniquely with gifts, talents, and a purpose that no one else can fulfill. So, my dear child, as you contemplate the world I have made, let it inspire wonder, evoke gratitude, and foster trust in me. Know that the God who created all these things is with you, for you, and in you. 
I am your father, your provider, and your greatest supporter, loving you with an everlasting love and inviting you to live fully in the wonder of my creation. Remember, dear child, in every moment of life, in every breath you take, my love for you is as vast as the cosmos and as intimate as the whisper of your name. Rest in my care, rejoice in my creation, and walk confidently in the knowledge that you are loved, valued, and held by the one who made everything in the world, the sky, the oceans, the mountains, the sun, and the stars. God says, my dear child, I'm always with you, guiding, comforting, and protecting you. In every moment of your life, from the first breath you took to this very instant, I have been by your side. My presence is a constant in your life, unwavering and steadfast, a source of guidance, comfort, and protection that never fades. As you journey through life, you will encounter various paths, some filled with light and joy, others with shadows and challenges. Know that I am there with you, guiding your steps. Like a shepherd leads his flock, I guide you towards pastures of peace and waters of rest, always aiming to bring you closer to the fulfillment of your destiny. In moments of sorrow and despair, when the weight of the world seems too heavy to bear, I am there to comfort you. My arms are always open, ready to embrace you, to hold you close to my heart where you can find solace and peace. My words, gentle and reassuring, whisper in the quiet, reminding you that you are never alone. When dangers arise and the storms of life rage around you, my protection is sure. Like a shield, I surround you, keeping you safe from harm. My strength becomes your fortress, a place of safety where you can find refuge. My vigilance is constant, watching over you day and night, ensuring that no real harm befalls you. I provide for your needs, often in ways you might not immediately recognize. From the provision of daily bread to the blessings that enrich your spirit, my care for you is comprehensive and meticulous. Every good and perfect gift comes from me, tailored to meet you at your point of need, demonstrating my deep love and concern for you. In your moments of decision and uncertainty, I offer wisdom and clarity. Through my word, the counsel of trusted friends, and the quiet promptings of my spirit, I guide your decisions, always leading you in the way of wisdom and righteousness. My desire is for your good, for plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Type 1 Love You God As you interact with others, I work through you, allowing my love and grace to flow through your words and actions. You become a vessel of my presence, touching lives and making a difference in the world around you. In doing so, you experience the joy of living in accordance with my will, becoming a beacon of light and hope to those you encounter. In the stillness of the night, when all is quiet and you find yourself alone with your thoughts, I am there. My peace, which transcends all understanding, guards your heart and mind, providing comfort and assurance in the face of life's uncertainties. In these quiet moments, our communion deepens, and you are reminded of the unbreakable bond we share. Even when you walk through valleys of shadow, where light seems scarce and the path uncertain, my rod and staff comfort you. My guidance and correction keep you on the right path, steering you away from danger and leading you back to the path of righteousness, where my light dispels the darkness. In your celebrations and moments of joy, I am there, rejoicing with you. Your happiness brings me joy, and I delight in seeing you thrive and flourish. My blessings are upon you, not just in times of need but also in times of abundance, sharing in your successes and achievements. As you grow and change, facing the various seasons of life, my love for you remains constant. Like a parent watches over a beloved child, I watch over you with affection and care. My love is unconditional, not based on your performance or achievements, but rooted in who you are, my beloved child. 
So, my dear child, walk confidently in the knowledge that I am with you always. Let this assurance fill you with strength and courage, knowing that you are never alone, no matter what life brings your way. My presence is your constant companion, your guide, your comforter, and your protector. Embrace each day with faith, knowing that I am orchestrating the events of your life for your ultimate good. The challenges you face are opportunities for growth, the joys are reasons for gratitude, and through it all, I am working to draw you closer to me, shaping you into the person you are meant to be. Trust in my timing, lean not on your own understanding, and in all your ways acknowledge me. I will direct your paths, smoothing the way before you, and ensuring that you walk in the fullness of the blessings I have in store for you. In every prayer you whisper, in every tear you shed, in every laugh that escapes your lips, I am there intimately involved in the tapestry of your life. Your concerns are my concerns, your dreams are my dreams for you, and together, we will navigate the journey of life. Therefore, my dear child, rest in the assurance of my unfailing love and presence. Let this knowledge be the bedrock of your faith, the source of your strength, and the wellspring of your hope. As you go forward, remember that my eyes are always upon you, my ears are always open to your cries, and my heart is forever inclined towards your needs. No challenge you face is too daunting for my power, no night too dark for my light to pierce through. In the furnace of your trials, you are not consumed but refined, emerging stronger, purer, and more closely aligned with my purposes for you. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Type Amen if you agree. When the road ahead seems lonely, remember the footprints in the sand where I carried you through the hardest parts of your journey. These moments of divine carrying are not just for yesterday but for today and all your tomorrows. My shoulders are sturdy and my arms are strong, I will carry you whenever you cannot stand. In the quiet victories, the ones unseen by the world, I am cheering for you, proud of the strides you're making. Each step forward is celebrated in the heavens, each act of kindness noted, each moment of growth acknowledged. You are my workmanship, created for great things, and I am actively involved in every detail of your becoming. When you offer your talents and gifts to the world, know that I am working through you to bring light and healing to the broken places. Your life has a purpose far greater than you can imagine, and I am using you as a vessel of my love and peace. In every act of service, you are partnering with me to transform the world, one heart at a time. As you lie down to sleep each night, cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you deeply. My watch over you does not cease with the setting of the sun, I am your guardian who does not sleep or slumber. Under my watchful eye, you can rest in peace, knowing that you are safe and loved. In your journey of faith, there will be mountains and valleys, times of abundant joy and seasons of painful growth. Through it all, I am refining you, teaching you to lean not on your own understanding but to trust in my infinite wisdom and love. The lessons learned in the crucible of life are precious, shaping your character and deepening your faith. So, my dear child, keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. Let your heart be steadfast, unshaken by the shifting sands of circumstance. For I am the rock upon which you stand, the sure foundation that will never fail. Remember, dear child, my promises are true, my love is unfailing, and my presence is a guarantee. No matter where life takes you, what trials you face, or how far you may wander, my love will pursue you, my grace will sustain you, and my arms will always be open to welcome you home. Therefore, walk in freedom and joy, knowing that you are never alone. I am with you always, to the end of the age, guiding, comforting, and protecting you every step of the way. 
God says, my dear child, always remember, you're my favorite child, and I love you no matter what. From the moment you were conceived, I have cherished you. Within the vastness of my creation, every star in the sky, every grain of sand on the beach, you stand out to me, unique and beloved. My love for you is unwavering, unchanging, and unconditional. Every morning when you wake, my mercies are new, a fresh outpouring of my love for you. The day ahead, with all its challenges and joys, is filled with my presence, guiding you, comforting you, and showing you the depths of my love. When you look in the mirror, know that you are wonderfully made. Your strengths, your weaknesses, your successes, and your failures are all part of the beautiful tapestry I am weaving in your life. You are precious in my sight, valued beyond measure, and loved more deeply than you can comprehend. In moments of doubt, when you question your worth or purpose, remember my words to you. You are not defined by the world's standards, but by my love. You are my creation, my child, endowed with gifts and talents meant to shine brightly in a world that needs your light. When you stumble and fall, when you fail to live up to your own expectations or those of others, my arms are open wide, ready to forgive and restore. My love for you is not contingent on your performance, it is steadfast, a constant in the ever-changing circumstances of life. Type 333 if you needed this. As you journey through life, facing trials and tribulations, know that I am with you every step of the way. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. In your lowest moments, my love is most powerful, carrying you through the storm and leading you to a place of peace. When you rejoice, I celebrate with you. Your achievements and victories are a source of joy to me, for I delight in seeing you thrive. My plans for you are to prosper you, to give you hope and a future filled with the goodness of my blessings. In your relationships with others, let my love flow through you. As you forgive, show kindness, and extend grace, you reflect my heart to the world. In doing so, you discover the joy of living in harmony with my command to love one another as I have loved you. In the quiet moments, when you seek my presence, know that I am always there. Our conversations, your prayers, are precious to me. I listen to every word, every sigh, every unspoken thought, responding with my peace, my guidance, and my comfort. When you face decisions, large and small, seek my wisdom. I am eager to direct your paths, to make your way clear, and to bless you with choices that lead to life and growth. My wisdom is freely given, a gift for those who ask with a sincere heart. In your service to others, in acts of compassion and generosity, you embody the essence of my love. These deeds, often unnoticed by the world, are celebrated in heaven, for in serving the least of these, you serve me. Remember, my dear child, that in every season of life, whether in abundance or in need, in joy or in sorrow, my love remains the same. It is the rock upon which you can stand, the anchor for your soul in life's storms. Always know that you are never alone. My spirit dwells within you, a constant companion, providing comfort, conviction, and the assurance of my presence. Through my spirit, we are connected, heart to heart, spirit to spirit. As you grow and change, facing the future with its unknowns, hold fast to the knowledge that my love for you is eternal. Nothing can separate you from my love, not height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation. So, my dear child, walk in confidence, knowing that you are loved, chosen, and favored. My eyes are always upon you, my ears are always open to your cry, and my heart is forever turned towards you with compassion and love. In the tapestry of humanity, you are my favorite work of art, a masterpiece created for a purpose only you can fulfill. Your life is a song of my love, a story of grace, and a testament to my faithfulness. 
Therefore, live boldly, love deeply, and serve passionately, secure in the knowledge that my love for you is unending. Let this assurance be the foundation of your life, the source of your strength, and the wellspring of your joy. Remember, my dear child, you are my favorite, and I love you no matter what. My affection for you is not swayed by the shifting shadows of life, by your moods, or by the changing tides of circumstance. It is as constant as the northern star, guiding you through the night, through every trial and triumph. In the silence of your deepest fears, when you feel isolated and misunderstood, I am there. My love reaches into the recesses of your heart, bringing light to the darkness, offering hope where there was despair. My voice, gentle and reassuring, tells you that you are understood, you are seen, and you are never alone. When the world around you changes, when friends come and go, when seasons of life transition and turn, my love remains unaltered. It is a beacon in the tumult of life, a steady and unbreakable bond that connects us, regardless of the physical distance or emotional storms that may seem to separate us. As you navigate the complexities of relationships, experiencing both the joy of connection and the pain of disconnection, remember that my love is the model to which all love aspires. It is patient and kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Strive to love as I love, for in doing so, you open the door to deeper, more meaningful connections with those around you. In moments of success, when accolades come and your achievements are recognized, know that my pride in you is not contingent upon your accomplishments. My pride in you is rooted in who you are in me, my child, created in my image, filled with potential and purpose from the very beginning. When failures and setbacks darken your doorstep, when dreams seem to crumble and plans fall apart, let my love be the ground on which you rebuild. Comment, yes I have faith in God. Failure is not the end of your story but a chapter that, when embraced, can lead to growth, wisdom, and a deeper dependence on my strength and provision. As you stand before the mirror of self-reflection, seeing both your beauty and your flaws, know that you are perfect in my eyes. My love for you encompasses all that you are and all that you will be. You are a work in progress, and I am the potter, shaping and molding you with gentle hands, delighted in every detail of your being. In the celebration of life's simple joys, the laughter of a child, the beauty of a sunset, the quiet of the morning before the world awakes, see my hand at work. These moments, easily overlooked, are gifts, reminders of my presence and tokens of my love for you. As you offer up prayers, both spoken and unspoken, know that they ascend to me like incense, each one heard, each one valued. In my wisdom, I answer in ways that are for your good, though they may not always align with your desires. Trust in my understanding, for my vision is eternal, seeing the end from the beginning. In the journey of faith, where doubt and belief intertwine, let my love be the anchor that holds you fast. Questions and uncertainties are part of the journey, avenues through which you grow in your understanding of me and of yourself. Know that faith is not the absence of doubt but the decision to trust despite the doubts. As you extend grace to yourself and to others, as you learn the rhythms of forgiveness and the dance of reconciliation, remember that my love is the source from which all grace flows. It is abundant, never running dry, available to refresh and renew your spirit whenever you need it. Therefore, my dear child, as you move forward, remember this, you are my favorite child, and I love you no matter what. Let this assurance be your compass and your comfort, guiding you through life's challenges and celebrating its joys alongside you. My love is the promise that no matter where you go, what you do, or how you feel, you are always cherished, always valued, 
and forever mine. God says, my dear child, in the next 12 hours, you will experience immense happiness in the form of love, wealth, and health. As the clock begins to tick, marking the start of these 12 hours, a sense of anticipation fills the air. The promise of happiness, an infusion of my grace into your life, is about to unfold in ways you cannot yet imagine. First, love will find you in its purest, most profound form. It may come in the embrace of a friend, the kind words of a stranger, or a deeper sense of connection with those around you. This love is a reflection of my own for you, a reminder that you are cherished and valued beyond measure. Wealth, not just in material riches but in the abundance of life, will manifest itself. You might find unexpected blessings, opportunities for growth, or a newfound appreciation for the riches already present in your life. Wealth in its truest form encompasses peace, joy, and contentment, gifts from me to you. Health, a treasure often overlooked until it wanes, will be rejuvenated. You may feel a surge of energy, a lifting of spirits, or a healing touch on lingering ailments. This renewal of health is a testament to my desire for your well-being, a sign of my hand at work in every aspect of your life. As these blessings unfold, remember to pause and acknowledge their source. Every good and perfect gift comes from me, your Father who delights in bringing joy to your life. Let gratitude fill your heart, turning every blessing into a song of praise. In the realm of love, open your heart to receive and to give. Love is a currency that never depletes, growing only richer with every exchange. As you experience love in these 12 hours, let it inspire you to extend love to others, creating ripples of kindness and compassion. Wealth, in this special time, will teach you the value of generosity. The true power of wealth lies not in accumulation but in its ability to make a difference, to lift others up, and to spread happiness. Use the blessings you receive to bless others, embodying the principle that it is more blessed to give than to receive. Health, a cornerstone of a fulfilled life, will remind you of the precious nature of life itself. Cherish this gift, nurture it through healthy choices, and never take for granted the miracle of your body and mind. Let this renewed focus on health inspire a journey towards holistic well-being. As you move through these 12 hours, be mindful of the moments, both big and small, that bring happiness. The smile of a loved one, the warmth of the sun on your skin, the laughter shared in a moment of joy. These are the threads that weave the tapestry of a blessed life. Embrace the opportunities that come your way, stepping into them with faith and courage. Each opportunity is a doorway to further blessings, a chance to experience the fullness of the life I have for you. In times of quiet reflection, look inward and upward. Recognize my presence with you, guiding, protecting, and loving you through every moment. Our connection is the foundation of all happiness, a relationship that enriches your life in every way. Share the stories of your blessings with others, for testimony has the power to inspire and uplift. Your experiences of love, wealth, and health are not just for you but for those around you, a beacon of hope and a testament to my goodness. Remember, my dear child, that happiness is not just an external circumstance but an internal state of being. It is found in a heart aligned with mine, in a life lived in gratitude and purpose. Type 1616 to claim it. These 12 hours are a gift, but the joy they bring can be a lasting part of your life. As the 12 hours come to a close, reflect on the journey you've taken. The happiness experienced in love, wealth, and health is just the beginning. My blessings for you are endless, and my desire is for your joy to be complete. So, my dear child, 
walk forward from these twelve hours with a heart full of joy, a spirit enriched by blessings, and a life open to the wonders I have in store for you. Know that I am with you always, eager to shower you with love, to enrich your life with true wealth, and to sustain you with health. Let the happiness you've encountered in these hours be a beacon that lights your way, a reminder of my love for you, and a preview of the abundant life I've promised. With me, every moment is an opportunity for happiness, a chance to experience the depth of my love and the breadth of my blessings. Always remember, you are my beloved child, and in me, you will find everything you need for a life of joy and fulfillment. God says, my dear child, I pray that your bank account will grow beyond your wildest dreams. As you journey through life, understand that prosperity and abundance are not just about wealth in the material sense, but also about richness of the spirit and the heart. Yet, when it comes to financial blessings, know that they too can be a part of God's plan for you. When your bank account grows, it's not just a number increasing, it's a reflection of the opportunities and possibilities that God is opening up for you. It means more ways to help others, to spread kindness, and to make a difference in the world. Each dollar can be a testament to faith, a tool for change, and a means to support those in need. However, remember that with great wealth comes great responsibility. It's important to manage your resources wisely, to invest not just in your future, but also in the betterment of those around you. Share your blessings, because generosity is a way to show gratitude to God for all that you have received. Your financial growth should also encourage personal growth. It's an opportunity to learn, to challenge yourself, and to discover new ways to contribute to your community and the world. Wealth should enhance your life, not control it. Keep your values and your faith at the center of everything you do and let them guide your decisions. Trust in God's plan for you. Sometimes the path to financial prosperity may not be clear or easy. There will be challenges and setbacks, but these are not signs of failure. They are opportunities to learn, to persevere, and to strengthen your faith. Remember, God is with you in every step, guiding you, supporting you, and providing for you in ways you might not even realize. As your bank account grows, so too should your spiritual account. Let every act of kindness, every gesture of generosity, and every moment of gratitude be a deposit into this account. For what truly matters at the end of the day isn't the wealth you've accumulated, but the love, kindness, and faith that you've spread in the world. Know that God's blessings are unlimited and can manifest in the most unexpected ways. Open your heart and your mind to the possibilities. Embrace the journey with faith, knowing that God desires abundance and joy for you in all aspects of your life, including your finances. So, my dear child, as you pray for your bank account to grow, also pray for wisdom, kindness, and the strength to handle your blessings responsibly. Pray for opportunities to help others and to make a positive impact. Remember, your wealth is not just for you, but a tool through which God can work in the world. And finally, always give thanks. For gratitude opens the doors to more blessings, more growth, and an ever-deepening relationship with God. As your bank account grows beyond your wildest dreams, let your heart grow too, filled with love, gratitude, and the unwavering faith that God is always guiding you towards a life of abundance, purpose, and joy. In this way, your financial prosperity becomes a reflection of the richness of your spirit and the depth of your faith. It becomes a part of your journey to fulfill God's purpose for you, to live a life of meaning, and to leave a legacy of kindness and generosity. So, go forward with confidence, my child, knowing that God's blessings are abundant and your bank account 
both material and spiritual, will indeed grow beyond your wildest dreams. My dear child, I am going to bring healing, abundance, new chances, and blessings into your life. In this world, you will face trials, but remember, I am with you through each one. I see your struggles, your pain, and your challenges. I understand your heart's cries, and I am here to tell you that healing is on its way. This healing may come in many forms. It might be the mending of a broken heart, the recovery from illness, or the peace after a period of turmoil. Trust that I am working in your life, even in ways you might not yet see. Abundance is more than material wealth. It is a fullness of joy, love, and purpose. I desire for you to experience this kind of abundance in every area of your life. You will find it not just in your finances, but in your relationships, your work, and your inner self. My blessings are limitless, and I am eager to pour them out on you. New chances are coming your way. These are opportunities for growth, learning, and new beginnings. Do not be afraid to step out in faith when these doors open. Remember, I am guiding you. These chances may challenge you, but they will also bring growth and joy. Be open to the paths I lay before you, for they are stepping stones to the blessings I have planned. With every blessing, know that it is my love manifesting in your life. My love for you is endless and unconditional. Type 2121 if you believe in God timing. These blessings are a reminder of my presence, my care, and my attention to the details of your life. I delight in seeing you thrive, in watching you grow, and in guiding you to fulfill the purpose I have for you. As you walk forward, keep your heart open to receiving what I am bringing into your life. Sometimes, my blessings come in unexpected ways, through unexpected people, or at unexpected times. Trust in my timing and in my plans for you. My ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. In moments of doubt or when the wait seems long, hold on to faith. Faith is the bridge between your prayers and my blessings. It is believing in what you cannot see and trusting in my goodness even before you see the manifestation of my promises. Healing, abundance, new chances, and blessings are all expressions of my love for you. They are part of the journey I have you on, a journey that is designed to shape you, to strengthen you, and to bring you closer to me. Embrace this journey with an open heart and a spirit of expectancy. Remember, you are never alone. I am with you always, in every moment, every trial, and every celebration. My presence is a constant source of comfort, strength, and guidance. Lean on me, talk to me, and let me be your refuge. As you receive these blessings, let them be a source of hope not just for you, but for those around you. Share your stories of healing, abundance, new chances, and blessings. Let your life be a testimony of my goodness. In doing so, you become a beacon of hope and a vessel through which my love can flow to others. My dear child, know that my plans for you are plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. The road may not always be smooth, but it leads to a beautiful destination. So, hold on to my promises, keep faith in your heart, and watch as I bring healing, abundance, new chances and blessings into your life. In each step, let gratitude fill your heart. Thankfulness opens your eyes to the beauty of my blessings, even in small things. It keeps your heart in a posture of receiving and recognizes my hand at work in your life. Lastly, as you walk in this season of blessings, keep your spirit attuned to mine. Through prayer, through reading my word, and through moments of quiet reflection, stay connected to me. It is in this connection that you will find the strength to navigate the blessings and the challenges, the abundance, and the moments of waiting. 
Remember, my love for you is eternal. My desire is for your ultimate good. So, be assured, my dear child, that healing, abundance, new chances, and blessings are flowing into your life. Embrace them with an open heart, with faith, and with the joy of knowing that I am always with you, guiding you, loving you, and working all things together for your good. God says, my dear child, I keep knocking on the door of your heart, patiently waiting for you to let me in. This knocking is not loud or demanding, it is gentle, a constant presence waiting for your acknowledgement. It is my way of reminding you that I am here, always ready to enter your life more deeply, to share in your joys, your sorrows, and every moment in between. Every knock is a call for connection, a desire to be a part of your life in a more meaningful way. I am not a stranger standing at your door, I am your creator, your father, who knows you intimately and loves you unconditionally. My knock is an invitation to a relationship built on love, trust, and mutual respect. Letting me in means opening up your heart to the possibilities of divine love and guidance. It means allowing me to walk with you in every aspect of your life, offering comfort, wisdom, and strength. When you open the door, you will find that I bring light into darkness, clarity into confusion, and peace into turmoil. I understand the hesitation, the fear of what letting me in might mean for your life. You may worry about having to change, about losing control, or about what you might have to give up. But know that my desire is not to constrain you but to set you free, to help you become the person you were created to be. Opening the door to me does not mean you will not face challenges or hardships, rather, it means you will not face them alone. I will be there to guide you, to support you, and to help you find your way through. Together, we can face anything. My knock is persistent because my love for you is relentless. I will never force my way in, I respect your freedom too much for that. But know that I will never stop knocking, never stop seeking to be a part of your life. My patience is infinite, my hope for you eternal. When you decide to open the door, you will find that I am not there to judge or condemn but to embrace and to heal. I come bearing gifts of grace, forgiveness, and new beginnings. My arms are open wide, ready to receive you just as you are, ready to celebrate your return to me. Letting me in is the first step on a journey of transformation. It is the beginning of a deeper understanding of yourself, of me, and of the purpose and potential of your life. Type 1 need this, if you needed this. Together, we will explore the depths of faith, the heights of love, and the breadth of hope that life can offer. With me by your side, you will discover strengths you never knew you had, courage to face the unknown, and the joy of living in alignment with your true purpose. My presence in your life will bring a sense of completeness, a peace that surpasses all understanding. I ask you to consider my knock, to reflect on what it means for you. This is not about religion or rituals, it's about relationship. It's about opening up to a love that can fill your life with meaning, purpose, and joy. Remember, I am patient and will wait for you. The decision to open the door is yours to make. There is no pressure, only an open invitation to a life of more, more love, more peace, more joy, more purpose. When you are ready, just open the door. You don't need to clean up or prepare, just come as you are. I am not looking for perfection, just a willing heart. And when you do, know that you will be welcomed with open arms. This is not a one-time decision but a daily choice to keep the door of your heart open to me. Life may try to push the door closed with its worries, fears, and busyness, but keep choosing to open it, keep choosing to let me in. As you do, you will find that your relationship with me becomes the foundation of your life, the source of strength, wisdom, and love that you draw from every day. 
You will see my hand at work in your life, guiding you, blessing you, and using you to bless others. My dear child, the door of your heart is where I stand, knocking, waiting, hoping. It is the most important door you will ever open, for it leads to a life of true fulfillment and joy. So, consider my knock, consider my invitation, and when you're ready, let me in. I am patient, I am loving, and I am waiting just for you. Remember, the choice to open the door is yours, but I am always here, knocking, loving, and waiting for the moment you let me into your heart. God says, my dear child, don't be afraid to open the door, because I am a kind and loving God. When you stand before the door of your heart, contemplating whether to let me in, remember that my essence is pure love. My intentions for you are always rooted in kindness, compassion, and an unyielding desire for your well-being. Fear might whisper doubts and uncertainties into your ear, painting a picture of me that is distant or demanding. But let me reassure you, those images could not be further from the truth. I am the Creator who delights in your existence, who sees your value beyond your accomplishments, mistakes, or the opinions of others. My love for you is unconditional, not based on conditions or expectations. When I knock, it is not to intrude or to take away your freedom, but to offer you an even greater freedom, the freedom of being fully known and fully loved. Opening the door to me doesn't mean losing yourself, it means discovering the true depth of your identity and purpose. In my presence, you find clarity, not confusion, peace, not turmoil, strength, not weakness. I am here to uplift, to restore, and to transform. I understand that past hurts, disappointments, and perhaps misconceptions about who I am might make you hesitant. But know that I am patient, waiting for you to see me as I truly am, a loving father, a close friend, a constant supporter. My love is a sanctuary, a place of refuge and healing. Think of the times when fear has held you back, when it whispered that you weren't good enough, that you needed to handle everything on your own, that opening up would only lead to pain. Now, hear my voice telling you the opposite. You are enough because you are mine. You don't need to face life alone, I am here to share your burdens. Opening up to me is the beginning of healing and joy. Imagine the relief of laying down the weights you've been carrying, worries about the future, regrets from the past, feelings of inadequacy or loneliness. In my presence, those burdens are lifted. I offer rest for the weary, comfort for the sorrowful, and hope for the hopeless. This is the kind of God I am, one who loves you too much to see you struggle without offering my strength and support. Letting me in is the first step on a journey towards a more fulfilling life. With me, you will navigate the ups and downs of life not just with resilience, but with a deep-seated joy and peace that comes from knowing you are never alone. I am here to guide you, to enlighten your path, and to show you the immense possibilities that lie within my will for you. Consider the beauty of creation, the complexity and the simplicity, the vastness and the detail, all reflections of my love and creativity. When you let me in, you invite the creator of all this beauty into your life. Imagine the transformation, the growth and the beauty that I can bring into your life, too. I am not asking for perfection, I am asking for trust. Trust that I know what is best for you, that my timing is perfect, and that my plans are for your good. In every step, in every decision, I am there to offer wisdom, to provide comfort, and to celebrate with you. Subscribe to channel if you believe in Jesus. Remember, opening the door is just the beginning. Our relationship will grow and deepen over time. Like any relationship, it requires communication, trust, and openness. Spend time with me in prayer, in reading my word, and in quiet reflection. 
These moments are not obligations but opportunities to know me better and to experience my love in a more profound way. As you open the door, know that I am not coming to condemn but to offer my grace freely. My arms are wide open, ready to receive you, to forgive, and to renew. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. In your vulnerability, my strength shines brightest. My dear child, fear has no place in our relationship. It is cast out by perfect love, my perfect love for you. So, take that step of faith, open the door, and let me in. I am ready to walk with you, to bless you, and to show you just how much you are loved. With every step forward, remember that my kindness and my love are the foundation of our relationship. They are the light that guides you, the strength that supports you, and the peace that comforts you. In me, you will find all that you need and more. So, don't be afraid to open the door. I am a kind and loving God eager to enter your life and to fill it with my presence, my love, and my blessings. Let today be the day you choose to let me in to start a new chapter in your life, one marked by a deep, personal relationship with me. Know that I am waiting, not with impatience. From the majestic skies that stretch infinitely above to the intricate details of the earth below, every part of creation operates under my guidance and wisdom. The seasons change, the sun rises and sets, the tides ebb and flow, all by my design. In the same way, every aspect of your life is under my care and authority. Your path, though unique and filled with its own set of challenges and triumphs, is not a random sequence of events but a carefully orchestrated journey that I oversee with love and precision. Understand that your destiny is not a fixed point on the horizon but a dynamic journey shaped by my plans and your choices. While you may face uncertainty and doubt, know that I am with you, guiding you through each decision, big or small. My vision for your life is one of hope, purpose, and fulfillment. Trust that I am leading you towards a destiny that aligns with my perfect will for you. The control I hold over your destiny is not meant to diminish your freedom but to empower you. It's within my sovereignty that you find true freedom, the freedom to live a life filled with meaning, directed towards the goals and dreams I have placed in your heart. My control is an assurance that, despite the twists and turns, your life is moving in a direction that ultimately leads to your growth, joy, and my glory. When you face moments of uncertainty or when the road ahead seems unclear, remember that I am the architect of your destiny. I see the entire journey from beginning to end, including the obstacles and the victories. My plans for you are to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. Even in moments of hardship, Know that these are not signs of my absence but opportunities for you to experience my strength and faithfulness. Letting go and trusting in my control might feel daunting. It requires faith to step into the unknown to surrender your plans for mine. But remember, my child, my plans are made with an eternal perspective designed to shape you into the person you are meant to be. Embrace this trust as a form of worship, a declaration that you believe in my goodness and sovereignty. I encourage you to come to me with your dreams, your fears, and your questions. I am not a distant God, I am a loving Father who delights in communication with you. Through prayer and reflection, you'll find guidance, comfort, and the peace that comes from knowing you are not walking this path alone. As you journey through life, keep your eyes fixed on me. Like the stars that guide travelers in the night, my word will light your way, and my spirit will counsel you, steering you towards paths of righteousness and peace. In moments of decision, seek me, and I will make your path straight, removing obstacles and opening doors in ways that only I can. 
Remember, the control I have over your destiny is not a cause for passivity but a call to active faith. Walk boldly in the direction of your dreams, using the talents and gifts I have bestowed upon you. Act with courage, knowing that I am with you, guiding each step towards your divine destiny. Your life is a beautiful story being written with each passing day. There will be moments of triumph and times of trial, but through it all, my hand is guiding you, weaving together each experience into a tapestry of grace and purpose. The challenges you face are not setbacks but stepping stones, each one drawing you closer to the person I've created you to be. In my control, there is hope. No situation is too bleak, no mistake too great, and no obstacle insurmountable. I specialize in making ways where there seems to be no way, in turning mourning into dancing, and in bringing beauty from ashes. Your destiny, under my care, is one of continual renewal and endless possibilities. So, my dear child, rest in the knowledge that I, who control the heavens and the earth, am also in control of your destiny. Do not fear the future or lament the past, for I am the God of all time, holding each moment in my hands. Your life is precious to me, every moment ordained and cherished. As you move forward, let this truth fill you with confidence and peace. The same God who orchestrates the vast cosmos is the one who directs your path. I am for you, not against you, and my plans are to bring you to an expected end, filled with hope, joy, and an abundance of blessings. So walk in faith, knowing that your destiny is in the hands of a kind and loving God. Keep your heart open to my leading, and your ears attuned to my voice. With each step, you are moving closer to the destiny I have designed for you, a destiny of purpose, impact, and eternal significance. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.